And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Hey, so we saw your Twitter the other day, man. Your Twitter was popping off, man. What's going on, man? Is, is CHH ready for an LGBT oh, rapper? Oh, is that what we talking about these days? <laughs> we going from the gray to that. <laughs> some, someone replied. Someone replied to your tweet, right? Right, right, right. So, um, essentially, uh, man, I I need to find out what I even said in the beginning. Um, but essentially, that really it doesn't matter. But somebody responded, and they were like. You need to ask the higher ups if they're ready for right. an LGBTQ member to be a part of CHH. Mm. I laughed initially. Right. Right. But then I was like, yo, this would be a dope conversation to have. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I like to do, even if I think the same thing that you do, I will choose the opposite answer purposely right. to make you make me. A troll. Believe what you're saying. He said a troll. He's an he's an antagonist. <laughs> yeah, seriously, like like literally, you'd be like, "Oh, the sky is blue," and I'd be like, "Now, nah, man, the sky is actually white with blue clouds." Mm. What? And then you know you got to go into while I know that the sky or I believe the sky is blue. We all know it's a reflection from the from the ocean, but whatever. Right. While, while I know and I can see the sky is blue, I want you because I like to learn and I like to hear other people's arguments. Mm. Tell me why you think the way that you do. So I put it out. I asked, short answer, CHH is not ready for an open <laughs> member, uh, a member of the LGBTQ uh, community. Now, when, no. the when the individual said higher up, what were they talking about? Were they talking about the rappers? Were they talking about the media? Or They're was it just about the everybody? I, I think they're more or less talking about the gatekeepers. Um, but honestly, yeah. she could she could be a part of CHH and, and be gay. Like, yeah, so she was talking she about herself. She was talking yeah, about herself. Yeah, okay. she was talking about herself. Yeah, don't tell nobody about. It. Just make music about God and don't tell nobody about your sexual preference. Right. And no, mm. and nobody would know. Right. That's right. Because I mean, CHH isn't overtly sexual anyway. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like, why would that even be an issue? Like, why would why bring it up? You know what I'm saying? Well, like, because why? you know, you want to be the poster child. For sure. I am the first openly gay oh, member man. of the Christian hip hop community. But that's Imagine not true, that, though, right? Not. That's not true, though. <laughs> that was that would be Jay Givens. No, 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 no. Oh. no because, Jay, because Jay Givens right. quit CHH shortly after coming out. Okay. As a matter of fact, when he came out, he wasn't even really active like that. Gotcha. Well, I, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> like dropping uh, music, <laughs> like dropping yeah. music. Oh, oh yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, I, I gotta give y'all yeah. a oh, warning before <laughs> Ant starts speaking, because Ant would be like. <laughs> <laughs> Like, well, editor, I, editor, I want you to please pay attention like, to what's about to happen. Yeah, yeah, just move your mic for this second. Because I, I didn't know what he was saying. Like, he like, act like Donnie McClurkin I, acting? Like, yeah. or, yo. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know. Cut that out. <laughs> Double Dutch. Huh? Now, uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't actively dropping music at the time. Right. Um, he had, I believe he had already been released from Humble Beast. Um, he's a, and, he's, a, he's a pretty dope MC too. Oh, he's fire! Yeah, one of yeah. one of the top lyricists that we've ever had yeah. in the game. Um, but unfortunately, like I say, and I said one time that Christian hip hop is not mature enough. But I think that that was more or less disrespectful um, to to the genre. So it's not about being mature enough. It, I mean, it's just not ready. Nor do I think we will ever be ready. But we obviously are ready for lying Christian hip hop rappers. Oh, come Stealing on. Christian oh, hip hop rappers. Come on, you know I mean, what I'm saying? Come on, adulterating, adulterating right? Christian right. hip hop rappers, right? Adam. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the point that I brought through. No, I don't agree that we're ready for it. Nor do I. Nor do I think we should have it. Right? But again, I picked the opposite answer to make you make me believe what you're saying. Yeah. And the opposite answer is, we have lying Christian hip hop uh, uh, artists out there. That's mm. true. Come people on, man. Be, people be lying now, about their shout outs. And now, I'll be like hearing that. that a lot, especially from the. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but a G thing. 
<laughs> That's gonna be the name of the episode. <laughs> Yo, I, I be hearing a lot of media. Some some media talk about um, artists, and I be shocked. Like, and I know I know how it is. You know what I mean? I know I know what it is when you're struggling with something. But then they make it seem like these dudes be blatant, and like you would never know that they were even Christians at all. So I, I don't know what your experience has been in Jay. Like I, I'm sure you've been in a couple of you know with events and and you know with your media and everything. Well, and that's the that's reason that why. Well, that's the reason why I said what I've said. Right about lying, about those who smoke, about those right. who drink. Um, I've seen these things. Right. Right. So for and and mind you, it was the fans that was answering. It wasn't no artists that were answering. But my thing always is, if you actually knew what your favorite Christian hip hop artist was doing, mm. you wouldn't be saying what you're saying. Right. Mm. Right. But I'm not yeah. one because because I want people. I don't want you know me to come around and people like, oh man, here comes Jay from the crew. I don't say nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I want to be able to stay inside of these circles, so I don't say anything. Wow. I don't know. If I see Lecrae smoking out here, I'm smacking it, smacking it out of his hand like Tyrone. But Lecrae admitted it, though, like Tyrone. on The Breakfast Club. <laughs> he admitted it. They said, do you smoke? He said, no. Do you drink? I have an occasional drink. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm cool so, with that. Yeah. I'm cool yeah, with that. Right. I have a brew right, right now. Too. I, have a brew right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't have a problem with it either, but y'all know these Christian hip-hop fans, man. You have to be... <laughs> You yeah, have to be the point. lamp. You have yeah, to they be got literally. they got a different standard for sure for the artists than they do for themselves. That's for sure. Right. right. So, yeah, like you said, you're fine with it. I'm fine with it. I don't have a problem. It makes you look more human. I, too, have a couple. But he said a couple. He didn't even say one. Wow, that's not Christian, <laughs> brother. In a week, <laughs> in a month, in a year. What do you mean? <laughs> you didn't let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a couple in a lifetime. <laughs> exactly. Come on, communion. We know. So hey, I'm not drinking right. grape juice at communion. Come on, Jesus didn't have <laughs> Jesus didn't have Welch's man. Come on. Nah, our didn't. first our first episode was was uh, G Jesus and the Ciroc boys. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was. Yeah, don't listen to that. Yeah, wow. <laughs> it was adult. <laughs> it, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, but you know, because of the you know the whole wedding, like everybody was already faded. You know what I'm saying? And then Jesus right, turned the right. water into wine after everybody was faded. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Turns it up. Right. And so a lot of people, you know, like you're not supposed to drink or you're not supposed to drink to drunkenness or whatever. Yeah, so, Jesus came through like Captain Morgan. Put you his leg up. <laughs> He came, he came through like Diddy. Everybody getting a bottle. You know what I mean? Hey, exceedingly and abundantly above all. Up on flowing, right? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Well, I, I pushed back with that idea, but we'll talk what? about that another time. Uh, uh, no, no, no. All right. <laughs> himself. Remember, they were in a Jewish community. <laughs> that's what oh, see, man and so that's my thing too right because i had a conversation with somebody just kind of piggybacking off of that um i had a conversation with somebody and they were like you know why can't i have multiple wives right you know they do it in africa they do it everywhere why can't i hear and i was like well because the culture here says that you can't like it's right. illegal here right you know what i'm saying well but in the biblical days i get it right but right. here in america it's illegal. So, right. you know, I get what you're saying, like like the customs, what they normally do like that. That was normal. So it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. But it's kind of one of them things where it's like, yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's true, because I got I got friend, uh, I got family friends who are, are from Argentina and their kids was drinking at like 10, 8. Wow. You know like that's normal. Line. Like yeah, that's like normal. a glass of wine. That's normal. Yep. Like mm -hmm. a kid yep. will have a glass of wine and it's nothing. Yeah. Wow. Okay? Like because it's all part of the culture, you know. Yeah. Right. You do that here, your kids get taken away. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So. So y'all not ready for LGBTQ uh, rapper, Christian oh, rapper? Man. We I guess. I guess my Nigerians. thing. My thing is like, I, I, <laughs> how does that work? Right. Like, how does the CHH? I don't want to know how that works. Q rapper work because False. oh yeah even though right even though even though like Jay from the corner said like he's experienced certain <laughs> things right 
Pause. Like this is this is come on, come on, <laughs> y'all still pause me. <laughs> Your whole conversation is a pause. Yeah. <laughs> Even right. yo, here's my thing. Even though there's that, right? Right. This is still faith based rap, right? Sure, and I know we sure. have we have an open right. We have kind of like a like I say, we in a bubble, right? Because. Even me, like I do underground uh, hip hop and, and venues and stuff, right? It's not Jesus J- JPMs per minute. Right. But if right. I go there, they're going to look at me and say, yo, this dude, you know what I mean? He's something different about him. Or, you know, I hear, little, yo, I hear that spiritual talk or whatever. You know what I mean? It's a conversation starter. Right. Uh, anyway, but with all that, man. with all that to be to be said, if it's faith-based rap, right? And we, we, we are... Uh, we are relating our message from what we believe is the Bible, right? And the Bible itself uh, sort of speaks against that kind of lifestyle. How does that work? That's what I want to know. How does that person say, well, when are they ready to accept me? Is it because we have become so like open? Like it's like anybody could just come in now or is it yeah. i don't think it's christian hip-hop in general i just think it's it's christianity in general i don't right. think it really has anything to do with christian hip-hop but the bible is also the problem is that the bible is up everybody treats it as if it's up for interpretation right so this is how this can happen because well what i interpreted saying was that oh that was in the old testament but we've already been fruitful and multiplied more than enough. That's the reason why the planet is dying. So this right, is right. okay now. You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like that's what that's kind of what it leads or kind of comes from. Mm-hmm. Um, now I think it's a stupid argument, but and my thing is too, you can't tell them that they're not a Christian. Like I don't right. think that's fair because you can't tell a liar they're not a Christian. You can't tell a cheater that they're not a Christian. True. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, well, uh, I, th- I think yeah, even uh, Jay Givens was saying that all the stuff that he he wrote. Right. Well, as a, as a CHH artist, he was like struggling and, and, and living, you know, what I'm saying living out his lifestyle. You know what I'm well, saying? Saving other people's lives. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And it's, it's, it's still still pointing to Christ. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Um, and, and it's it's um like like you, you mentioned earlier, Jay, um, you know, we talk about liars and even cowards like cowards are lumped in with homosexuals in the Bible. And, you know, and they're going to have. Um, the same destiny, you know, when it's all said and done. Um, but we set up these different standards for, for people, you know what I mean? Like where the worst thing you could be is a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's cool to be a liar. It's cool to be an adulterer. It's cool to be a coward. You know what I'm saying? But I think that's just uh, society's like how their, their level of uh, prioritizing. Right. You know what I'm saying like a murderer is worse than a thief. And you know what I'm saying? Like that type of thing. Yep. Right. Right. And obviously, and, and, and God's standards are different because, you know, scripture right. says that hating your brother, you know, what I mean, is like murder. Right. Well, you know, but I, and I'll oh, go ahead. My bad. I think that depends really on the on the who they accountable to. You know, what I mean, because yeah. if you go to some churches, if you out here wild and you could be stealing like, you know, like Paul says, if a, if somebody's calling themselves a brother and they out fornicating, he says, don't even eat with them. Don't even right. consider them your brother no more. You know what I'm saying? And that's someone not just to say, yo, I've been struggling. Like, you know what I mean? I've been in this relationship and we kind of fell a couple of times and da, 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 da. And, you know, I really want this counseling. I want to be liberated from this. You know what I mean? I think that's a little different the mindset. But if you just out here like, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm just, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, yo, dude, <laughs> you, you can't call yourself a brother. You're not, you're right. not living according to our standard. You know what I mean? Right, right. You're not banging the set. So I think oh, go ahead. I think that's an accountability like thing, you know what I mean? Like, and maybe maybe that person should ask the people around them first before they that's go true. out publicly and ask them, "Yo, y'all think y'all ready for me? <laughs> like, what do you people? What does your church feel about it? What does your people around you feel about it first? Then mm-hmm. maybe we could discuss it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what you, man. What you was gonna say, Jay? <clears throat> oh yeah, no, I was just gonna say like exactly what you said. It's levels to everything. Um, I know we understand that, oh, you know, we say all the time, oh, God sees all the sin the same, right? Right, right. But the fact of the matter is society doesn't. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so I, and neither does the just the, like the justice system doesn't, right? right? Mm-hmm. You're going to get more time for murdering somebody than what you're going to get even for armed robbery. Right. You know what I'm saying? And those things are very close. 
right. you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it, I say that to say that that's the reason why Christians look at homosexuality. It's like everything else is forgivable, but homosexuality, no, nah, that's it. That's the one thing that all Christians agree with. Well, most, most Christians, most Christians, <laughs> right. Are, right. that's the one thing that they, uh, they agree with. And so, you know, I even think even God, like when he places, and I'm not talking theology and different things like that, man. Uh, but I'm just saying, even when we get placed in our different abodes, according to what person, according to what you've done, the heat is going to be hotter. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That, But it is what yeah. it is. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. just so even though he sees them the same, there are still some he called it an abomination. Right. That clearly is not the same thing as a liar or a thief. Clearly. Right. And then even in, in first John, like he, he talks about sins and he's like, yeah, but there's sins that lead to death. Like, <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying like a exactly. habitual, like this habit, you know, and that also comes with, with Christianity. Like we kind of abuse that grace. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like we know how to abuse that really well. And we got to be careful, you know what I mean? Of how we are on a day to day walk. You know what I'm saying? Like, are we just, like, oh, God's going to forgive me anyway, or are we really trying to live this thing out? You know what I'm saying? Be separated and holy. So it's interesting. I mean, look, we've had, I'm sure there's people, there's a ton of gay people that we heard in choirs, right? Well, <laughs> so this ain't the, the first thing. time we've heard this you mean stuff. the directors. Right. Yeah. So look, I and that was the thing that I alluded to, <laughs> alluded to on our show. Why can't they rap? Because we have gay choir directors. We have gay pastors. We have gay youth leaders. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and they don't get, you know, outcast. And you know, come on, you know they're gay. Half of them don't even care to hide it. Oh no, right. they gotta Ooh. get. They gotta get. That's what I'm saying. That's why they need that accountability. <laughs> but they gotta get. Oh, right, right. But it it don't matter if you got accountability partners if the pastors are right with it. Right, right. <laughs> Wow. I ain't with that. I ain't with that type of CHH. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm that. not either. But again, right. <laughs> I want I want to make you explain to me why. Because I yeah. too agree we're not ready, nor do we need it. I believe it muddies the waters. But right. if she didn't say nothing and she just started making dope music, then what? Yeah, right. That, that would have been, be been a different story. That would have been a different story. But you know what? Like just I based agree. on the based on that tweet. She so would have used she would she she would have had an agenda with her music. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. That's the reason no. why she came out to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So we yeah. would have found out sooner or later. Like, hold up, what? Or but what okay, and this is one I didn't get to on my show, and I want to ask y'all, what if she says that she's gay, she she's same sex relationships, but in her music never talks about that. In her music, just talks about God's grace. In her music, just talks about the blessings. In her music, talk about failing and trying to get back and redemption and repentance. But she 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 does not think that her being gay is wrong, but she never, ever mentions in her music. Are we having the same conversation? Mm, that's tough. What we know. It depends mm. what we know. No, no, no. I think I, th I, th I think what, what he said, though, he said she doesn't think that what she's doing is wrong. Then you're off. Right. Right. You're off. Yeah. Like if you say that in a like because we can't judge every there's a bunch of artists, right? We don't know how they live in. We right. you know what I mean? That mm -hmm. I mean, Judas turned his back on Jesus, you know what I mean? And they they had right. you know, when people talk about discernment and all that, they didn't even the disciples didn't know what was going on. So it could be nah. people close to you that you really think, yo, this brother's good, he's you know what I mean? And then the next thing you know, you I mean, look, man, even I had taken a a, a lot of years of my life because I had fell into some sexual sin, you know what I'm saying? And I had to admit that, confess that. And I was wilding, bro. Like I was wilding out, you know what I mean? And, and I know what it's like. So I know what it's like to portray to be somebody that you're not, but dang, I lost my train of thought right now. <laughs> well, but, I think, I think another example too. I think, I think if I, my ahead. whole thing is if she, if she's blatantly saying this in an interview, like, yeah, I'm fine with my lifestyle. I don't think we would, I don't think we would accept that. I think we would be uh, like, nah. I mean, but see, that's we might listen to the music. Well, and see, that's my point, right? Because we just talked about an agenda. So that's where I'm kind of moving to. If she comes in with no agenda, just the fact that she believes her lifestyle, there's nothing wrong with it, but she wants to make music about Christ. We don't get no music about being, you know, being in same sexual relationships. We don't get no any no music about God being okay with it. We don't get none of that music. We get mm -hmm. normal Christian hip-hop music. But she made it uh, aware in the beginning 
that she was a part of that community. Do we still have this conversation? Because mm. she does not push that agenda. I don't know. That's tough. That's like yeah. that suburban kid who makes gangster music. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And they get away with it, though, don't they? Right. right. I'm just saying. I don't know. Yeah, I think I think for me, I, I think the the pro I wouldn't have a problem if she she talked about her struggling with that. You know what I mean? Like 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 Switch was saying about you know struggling with sexual or yeah. coming into sexual sin or whatever. Um, I've been pretty open about uh, struggling with uh, with pornography. You know what I mean? Um, but to be like, what I'm doing isn't wrong. Right. That's, that's, yeah, a that's whole, totally. That, yeah, that's a whole d- other. Yeah, yeah. That's that's completely different. If she right. came out like, "Yo, this is what I struggle with." You know what I mean? This is what it, you know it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But 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 you know what I mean? Jesus is Lord. That'd be a different story. You know what I'm saying? Because Jackie Hill did that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, and I, I respect it for it because she was always, um, when I met her, she was, she was talking about purity, sexual purity, you know what I'm saying? So you, she wasn't even on that, like, um, you know, on, on homosexuality, you know what I'm saying? But more right. so, uh, pushing sexual purity for everybody. You know what I mean? Right. Cause it's, it's, it's kind of a hard argument to have, you know, if, 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 uh, you telling people to, to, to remain sexually pure, you know what I'm saying? Um, than to try to justify, you know, whatever lifestyle you choose. You know what I'm saying? But to be fair, I don't think if she said that she was struggling with it, CHH wouldn't let her in, period. That, mm. Because that's the one. One act. Sin. That's <laughs> right, the right. one. That's the like, one unforgivable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So even if she came in and was like, yo, I'm struggling, I'm trying to get better, but I know I just need to make music about God because that's the only way I can talk to him. People would be like, well, make music in your basement. God can still hear you. <laughs> like seriously right. throw, that, throw that joint like, on SoundCloud right. <laughs> yeah. like, like, now if they say that would they be wrong about that um I've said oh. it so no <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said so no. I've never but, been but wrong, they be wrong if they shout it down and like nah like we're not, we're we're not, not doing, doing this right. man that's a rough one too because the Christian community wouldn't say you were wrong but everybody else would because again yeah. it look, then it starts to look like we're not tolerant yeah, yeah, that's and big right and, now too. and that's another man. This thing has layers, man. It does. <laughs> it has layers. It does, and 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 it it just doesn't affect our community. It affects every every community that's out there. You know what I mean? Um, right. Church as well. You know, we just seen the Pope talking about that. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> It's all right. I didn't even click. I saw the I, title. Yeah, I didn't. I just saw the title. I don't know how much. I don't know what he was trying to insinuate or say. But, you know, I, I know um, a few churches around the way that, you know, they had a deacon that was a homo, uh, a homo living a homosexual lifestyle. And she was fine with it. And she was like, y'all can't kick me out because I'm in the board. You know what I mean? So, you know, they got to they got to like go through this whole process to get her out. That's and, horrible, man. Yeah, It was crazy, wow. man. So, you know, it's not just our community that deals with this. And we and we try to be sensitive. Right. And that's why right. I appreciate Jackie Hill's ministry and her her books and her words so much because I feel like we need more Christians that are step up and be like, yo, once like I was, I was a homosexual, you know what I'm saying? And God, I was just going to say that. Why do we not have more? Why is she the poster child? You got that one dude, right? I ain't, I don't love men's no more. I'm delivered. (laughs) 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 I don't don't think it counts. (laughs) We need to drop his video right there. (laughs) In Christian hip hop, why don't we have more? I think we do. I just think they're afraid because they saw what happened Mm. to Sicily, because they saw what happened to Jay Givens. Mm. Well, I I don't I don't think uh, hip hop allows for that, period. Even outside of Christian hip hop. Lil Nas X. Hip hop in general. Lil Nas X. And Nas was on that song. That's y'all's guy. But that that that's oh, recent. Man. You know what I'm saying that's recent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's like this generation. You know what I mean? That's right. like. But that's but that's the thing. It's progressed. That that's yeah. the thing. It, it's different now. You know what I'm saying? People who are part of that community used to get beat up in the streets. Right. It ain't like right. that no more. Right. Like literally, right. just for being a part of that community, they got beat so, up in the so, streets. Some some of the clothes that some of the rappers wear today would have got beat beat up back in my time. <laughs> Young Thug would not be a rapper today. Nah, <laughs> Jock. Yeah, yeah, right. Jack with right. the whole hair situation, right. right? Gotta go, man. Gotta go. Yep. So I think it, <laughs> I think it's good 
let me rephrase. It's just a testament to where hip hop is now. People now understand that hip hop, 95% of it, they're not living what they rapping in their bars. Mm-hmm. True. It used to be, right? Oh my God. Yeah, they real, they real G's, they real gangsters, blah, blah, blah. And then somebody like 50 Cent come and snatch your chain and it ruined your whole career. Right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? But right. now it's like, oh no, I get that that's entertainment. You know, mm-hmm. be 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 who you want to be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it, you know what. What's interesting, man, is that I, I think now it's more acceptable. But I think that a lot of artists have always been fake because even just talking about like gangster rap, like the people who are famous for gangster rap weren't gangsters. You know what I mean? Like nobody yeah. in NWA was a gangster. You know, nope. aside from Easy E, he was a dope man. But aside from him. None of them Everybody were gangsters, else, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Cube made good grades in school and came from a two-parent household. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. So I live, so I live, um, I live like uh 10 miles from where Cube went to school, right? And it's uh it's a nice school. It's it's a nice school, it, it's a nice neighborhood, you know what I mean? Uh right now, the the homes in that area are at least a million dollars, you know what I'm saying? Wow, so, but I mean he still lived in the hood and got bust out, you know what I'm saying. But he went to a good school, is, is 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 what I'm saying, you know. And and the other dudes weren't, you know, what I mean, they they weren't banging, you know. That's why when you see NWA, like if you go back and you look at the old old um videos, they're wearing black, they're wearing black rags, they're not wearing blue, they're not wearing red, right? Because they're gonna bang a set. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. 